Episode 16 and the ongoing Kilauea Summit eruption ended on April 2nd. On Thursday, bright green sulfur deposits were visible on the cones of the inactive vents and heavy steam is present in the area. The eruptive episode that began on Monday night lasted just over 37 hours. The last 25 hours feature high lava fountains, often reaching heights of 600 to 700 feet or 180 to 210 meters. Lava flows covered half of the crater floor. During this event, the primary hazard of concern was the volcanic material that was deposited in closed areas of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Here, the piles of ash and tephra grow higher with each episode. This sign marking the southwest rift zone of Kilauea once stood at least 6 feet or 2 meters above the ground surface. It's now almost entirely buried. Material was also reported falling on Highway 11 between mile marker 35 and 37. In this photo, tephra and Pele's hair are visible along the center line and on the shoulder of the highway. Summit tilt meters recorded just over 14 microradians of deflation during episode 16. When the fountain stopped, tilt switched to inflation. The summit magma reservoir is now repressurizing, and the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports that the next eruptive episode is likely to begin later next week. It appears this cycle of episodic activity will continue, providing visitors with spectacular views outdoors or indoors, as seen in this photo taken at the historic Volcano House. The USGS noted the last time diners were treated to a scene like this was over 65 years ago, calling it a truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. There is currently no significant activity along Kilauea's east or southwest rift zones, and the volcano alert level remains at watch.